Lawmakers in Florida will already be in Tallahassee this week for a special session on congressional maps. And the action lawmakers take this week could expand the GOP edge in the Sunshine State. New Six's Amanda Castro explains. Florida lawmakers are meeting in Tallahassee this week for a special session focused on congressional redistricting. The legislature taking on the once a decade mapping process. But last week, leadership with the House and Senate said in a statement, Governor Ron DeSantis would lead the efforts. On Wednesday, the governor released his proposed map, which shrinks District 5 that runs along the northern border, represented by an African-American Democrat, U.S. Representative Al Lawson. It will, though, have uh, North Florida drawn in a race neutral manner. I mean, we are not going to have a 200 mile uh, gerrymander that divvies up people based on the color of their skin. That is wrong. That is not the way uh, we've governed um, in the state of Florida. DeSantis's proposed map comes after he vetoed the map passed by the legislature in March, prompting the governor to call for this special session. Our new six political analyst says DeSantis's map is Republican favorable. If adopted, the GOP would pick up four congressional seats, including the new district that covers Polk and Osceola counties. The state gaining the seat along the I-4 corridor due to all the new growth in this area over the last decade. During a news conference last week in Miami, DeSantis said his map follows the Constitution. They're going to follow every provision um, of the, the Constitution and statutory law that involves, of course, the Florida Constitution and that it involves uh, certain provisions of federal law, uh, which they are going to abide by. But State Senator Linda Stewart believes DeSantis's map won't be upheld in the courts saying it doesn't follow redistricting guidelines or federal law. He's going to send his lawyers down to explain how his map is legal, but if he doesn't take care of Tier 1, his map is not legal. Mm -hmm. You can say it is, but the courts will decide. The governor produced a map that was worse than the map he initially produced when we were in session. The special session begins on Tuesday. Our political analyst says while Democrats will oppose DeSantis's map, they don't have the numbers to stop it. We, of course, will let you know what happens. Reporting in the newsroom, Amanda Castro getting results, News 6.